Welcome back to Bible Quizzes. We've got 40 more questions for you guys based on the scriptures. Let's get started. Question one. Which nation deceived Joshua that they lived far away and so made a peace treaty with the Israelites? The Gibeonites, Jebusites, or the Amorites? The Gibeonites. Joshua 9, 15 through 16. Then Joshua made a treaty of peace with them to let them live, and the leaders of the assembly ratified it by oath. Three days after they made the treaty with the Gibeonites, the Israelites heard that they were neighbors living near them. 2. Who is a prophet who made an axe head to float? Elijah, Isaiah, or Elisha? Elisha, 2 Kings 6 5. As one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. Oh no, my lord, he cried out. It was borrowed. The man of God asked, Where did it fall? When he showed him the place, Elisha cut a stick and threw it there and made the iron float. 3. What is the name of the town where Jesus did his first miracle? Bethlehem, Jericho, or Cana Galilee? Cana of Galilee, John 2.11. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. 4. What is the name of the blind beggar who persisted in calling Jesus to heal him as he passed by? Lazarus, Bartimaeus, or Zacchaeus? Bartimaeus. Mark 10, 47 and 48. A blind man, Bartimaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. 5. What did Jesus say to the woman caught in adultery? Bring your husband, don't sin anymore, or I am the light of the world. Don't sin anymore. John 8, 10 and 11. He straightened up and said to her, Where are they? Is there no one left to condemn you? No one, sir, she answered. Well then, Jesus said, I do not condemn you either. Go, but do not sin again. 6. Who was the Babylonian king who watched in fear as a hand wrote on the wall of his palace? Nebuchadnezzar, Cyrus, or Belshazzar? Belshazzar, Daniel 5, 5. Suddenly the fingers of a human hand appeared and wrote on the plaster of the wall in the royal palace. The king watched the hand as it wrote. His face turned pale and he was so frightened that his legs became weak. 7. But blank with contentment is great gain. Health, godliness, or wealth. Godliness, 1 Timothy 6.6, 6. but godliness with contentment is great gain. 8. Who was the prophet sent by God to get a message in the potter's house? Ezekiel, Jeremiah, or Haggai? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 18, 1 and 2. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. 9. In the book of Hebrews, how does God speak to us in these last days? Through pastors, prophets, or his son? His son. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. 10. When Joshua fought the Amalekites, who held up Moses' hands whenever he got tired? Jethro and Aaron, Aaron and Caleb, or Aaron and Hur? Aaron 
Aaron and Hur. Exodus 17, 12. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remained steady. 11. What work did Paul assign Titus in Crete? Baptize disciples, appoint elders, or collect offerings? Anoint elders, Titus 1.5. The reason I left you in Crete was that you might put in order what was left unfinished and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. 12. The high priest's servants whose ear was cut off by Simon Peter was called blank. One Simus, Malchus, or Caiaphas. Malchus, John 18.10. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. 13. Who said to Jesus, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof? Only say the word and my servant will be healed. Jairus, a Roman centurion, or Cornelius. A Roman centurion. Matthew 8.8, 8, the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. 14. Which king of Persia did God give a desire to build the Lord a temple in Jerusalem? Nebuchadnezzar, Cyrus, or Darius? Cyrus, Ezra 1.2. This is what Cyrus, king of Persia, says. The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the, of the earth, and he has appointed me to build a temple for him at Jerusalem in Judah. 15. To whom does the Bible refer to as a man after God's own heart? Abraham, David, or Moses? David. Acts 13, 22. After removing Saul, he made David their king. God testified concerning him, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. 16. Who was the eldest son of Jesse? Shammah, Eliab, or David? Eliab, 1 Samuel 17, 13. Jesse's three oldest sons had followed Saul to the war. The firstborn was Eliab, the second Abinadab, and the third Shammah. 17. Blank died when he reached out to the hold the ark of God as the oxen that were pulling it stumbled. Uriah, Samuel, or Uzzah. Uzzah, 2 Samuel 6, 6 and 7. Uzzah reached out and took hold of the Ark of God because the oxen stumbled. The Lord's anger burned against Uzzah because of his irreverent act. Therefore, God struck him down, and he died there beside the Ark of God. 18. What sign would remind God of his promise not to destroy all life with a flood, a rainbow, evening star, or an eclipse? A rainbow, Genesis 9, 14 and 15. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. 19, which items were contained in the Ark of the Covenant? Jar of honey, Aaron's staff, stone tablets, anointing oil, stone tablets, and Aaron's staff, or a jar of manna, Aaron's staff, and stone tablet. Jar of manna, Aaron's staff, and stone tablet. Hebrews 9.4 This ark contained the gold jar of manna, Aaron's staff that had budded, and the stone tablets of the covenant. 20. The woman healed by touching the edge of Jesus' garment had been bleeding for how many years? 7, 14, or 12?
12, Matthew 9, 20 and 22, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She, Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. 21, who was called blessed among women, Elizabeth, Mary, or Martha? Mary. Luke 1, 41 and 42. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. 22. How many men did God direct Gideon to keep when he went to war with the Midianites? 300, 10,000, or 22,000? Three hundred. Judges seven seven. The Lord said to Gideon, With three hundred men that lapped, I will save you and give the Midianites into your hands. Let all the others go home. Twenty three. Who did Pontius Pilate release to the Jews instead of Jesus Christ? Barabbas, Malchus, or Judas? Barabbas, Mark 15, 15. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. 24. Who was Israel's first judge? Ehud, Samson, or Othniel? Othniel, Judges 3, 9, and 10. But when they cried out to the Lord, he raised up for them a deliverer, Othniel son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, who saved them. The Spirit of the Lord came on him so that he became Israel's judge and went to war. 25. Who owned a vineyard next to the palace of King Ahab, Gehazi, Naboth, or Elijah? Naboth, 1 Kings 21.1. Sometime later, there was an incident involving a vineyard belonging to Naboth, the Jezreelite. The vineyard was in Jezreel, close to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. 26. Who succeeded King Solomon when he died? Jeroboam, Rehoboam, or Absalom? Rehoboam, 1 Kings 11, 42 and 43. Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel 40 years. Then he rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David, his father. And Rehoboam, his son, succeeded him as king. 27. Blank led the Israelites by day and a pillar of fire at night when they were traveling in the wilderness. Moses, a pillar of cloud, or Joshua? A pillar of cloud, Exodus 13, 21. By day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night. 28, Jonah was sent to preach against the city of blank, but he ran away to the city of blank. Tarshish Nineveh, Nineveh Joppa, or Nineveh Tarshish. Nineveh Tarshish. Jonah 1, 1 through 3. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. 29. On which side of the tent of the meeting did the tribe Judah set up camp when they were in the wilderness? South, west, or east? East, Numbers 2, 1 through 3. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, the Israelites are to camp around the tent of meeting some distance from it, on the east, toward the sunrise. The divisions of the camp of Judah are to encamp under their standard. 30. How did Abraham's servant know that the Lord had chosen Rebekah as a bride for Isaac? Rebekah was beautiful. Rebekah gave him a drink and watered his camels. 
or Rebecca was fetching water. Rebecca gave him a drink and watered his camels. Genesis 24, 45-46 Before I finished praying in my heart, Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder, and I said to her, please give me a drink. And she said, drink, and I'll water your camels too. 31 How old was Moses when he died in Moab? 100, 120, or 90? One hundred twenty. Deuteronomy thirty-four seven. Moses was one hundred and twenty years old when he died. Yet his eyes were not weak, nor his strength gone. Thirty-two. Mephibosheth, who was lame on both feet, was the son of blame. David, Saul, or Jonathan. Jonathan. Second Samuel four four. Jonathan, son of Saul, had a son who was lame in both feet. His nurse picked him up and fled when Saul was killed in Jezreel. But as he, she hurried to leave, he fell and became disabled. His name was Mephibosheth. 33. Who was the father of Samuel? Eli, Elkanah, or Elihu? Elkanah, 1 Samuel 1, 19 and 20. Elkanah made love to his wife Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. So in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel. 34. Who promised God the first thing that came out of the door he would sacrifice when he returned from a mom in victory? Jephthah, Jane, or Jerubal? Jephthah, Judges 11, 30, 31. And Jephthah made a vow to the Lord, if you give the Ammonites into my hands, whatever comes out of the door of my house to meet me when I return in triumph from the Ammonites will be the Lord's and I will sacrifice it as a burnt offering. 35. Moses' father-in-law Jethro was a priest of the blank, Egyptians, Midian, or Canaanites. Midian. Exodus 3.1. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro and his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. 36. Why was Daniel thrown into the lion's den? He didn't bow to idols, he prayed to his God and not the king, or he was unable to interpret dreams. He prayed to his God and not the king. Daniel 6, 11, and 12. Then these men found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they asked the king about his royal decree. Did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days, anyone who prays to any god or human being except to you, your majesty, would be thrown into the lion's den? 37. Why did Herod put John the Baptist in prison? John was baptizing people. John rebuked his daughter for dancing or John rebuked him for marrying Herodias. John rebuked him for marrying Herodias. Mark 6, 17 and 18. Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. John had been saying to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. 38. Prophet Joel was the son of blank, Pethuel, Shemaiah, or Zikri. <laughs> Pethuel, Joel 1.1, 1, 1, the word of the Lord that came to Joel's son of Pethuel. 39. Which events did not happen in the prison when Paul and Silas sang and prayed at midnight? The prisoners ran away. There was a violent earthquake where everyone's chains came off.
the prisoners ran away. Acts 16, 25 through 28. At midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Suddenly, there was a, such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came off. The jailer woke up and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself, we are all here. And 40, who was the father of Moses? Amram, Jethro, or Jochebed? Amram, Matthew 6, 20. Amram married his father's sister, Jochebed, who bore him Aaron and Moses. Amram lived 137 years old. And that's all the questions we have for today. So remember, put your score in the comments below and send this video to your friends and family so you can compare your scores against theirs. And we'll see you in the next one.